Now, when I was younger, my dad told me, Kenny, never count another man's money. And I was confused for two reasons. One, his name is also Kenny, so I thought he's talking to himself. But two, I didn't really get what that mean in my young age. But eventually, I got to the point where I am now, and I 100% understand. When people ask me, yo, what do you do for a living? I tell them, well, I'm a YouTuber. The first thing they ask me is, how much is that paid? Get out my pockets! That is none of your business! Now today, my pops would be really, really disappointed in me because today we're counting other people's money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We talk about NBA players, so Factory created a quiz. I'll put his link in the description. Go over to subscribe. Let him know your team know overtime. He created a quiz where he's going to compare two NBA players, and we got to decide which player gets paid more. Very excited for this one. Let's head over to it. Who gets paid more 2017, 2018? Now that is very important because there are some people who sign contracts where like year one, they get paid 5 million, but year four, they up that to 8 million. So we talk about this season, 2017, 2018, very, very clutch. Let's just hit play. Let's see how it goes. Try to guess which player earns the most between the two players. 15 seconds to guess, 30 players, 15 rounds. Count him and you get right. Can y'all count for me? Cause y'all know I, I can't talk and count. It's, it's hard, multitask is hard. And we getting highlights with it too. So these are the type of quizzes I like to see. So we got Kevin Durant or Kyrie Irving. Who earns more? Definitely, definitely Kevin Durant. He recently just signed a deal with Kyrie Irving. Um, I don't remember when he signed the deal, but it, the recent contracts usually are the more expensive ones. So keep that in mind. 25 mil for KD, 19 mil for Kyrie. Both big deals. D'Angelo Russell or Lou Williams? Oh, Lou Williams dumped in that clip. I didn't know he had it like that. Definitely Lou Will. He just re-signed to the clips like $7,000 or $7 million. Still $7,000. He need a new new agent. $7 million um, per year for four years. So, yes. And then D'Angelo Russell still on his rookie contract. Next. Porzingis or Lonzo Ball? Oh, okay. We're going to pause here. This is a difficult one. Because since Lonzo Ball was the number two pick, his contract is going to be a little bit better than Kristaps Porzingis, who was the number four pick. But Kristaps is in what, year number three of that rookie deal, when Lonzo Ball is in year number one. So is year number three of a fourth overall pick getting paid more than year number one of a second overall pick? See, it gets, it gets a little weird here. But I, I still think that Lonzo's rookie contract is a little bit more. So we're going to go Zo on this one. Give well soon, Chris Stops. You know, we're rooting for you to get back from that injury and be better than ever. And I, I feel like he will. He seems like a fighter. And yeah, this was a play we don't want to talk about because that was um, against my Bulls. But we were right. We were right. So the rookie deal of Lonzo is a little bit better than Chris Stops. Larry or James Harden? That's a crazy one. I would hope it's Harden because he's the better player of the two. I'll go harder for that reason alone, because both of these people recently signed extensions, so I don't know which one got paid more. Wow, Cal Lowry, but just by this much? But hey, hey, if you think about it, this much don't mean much to them, but if we, me and you had that much, what was it? What was it, $400,000? Come on, we wouldn't be in this apartment, dog. But for them, that's that's chump change. Uh, Damian Lillard or Blake Griffin? Definitely Blake Griffin. Um, year number four of Blake Griffin's current deal, he's making like $35 million a year. I don't, I think this year's like $30 million, but the guy's getting paid. He's getting paid. We need some of that money over here. Yeah, $29.7 million, and Damian Lillard's making $26.1. Great numbers. Both players deserve it. LeBron or Steph Curry? I think it's Steph. I think Steph is the highest play parent, player in the league right now. So I'm going to go Steph Curry. And look, he's dunking in that clip. See, that's that's what, that's the greatness we talk about. But I do think it's Steph Curry. By Look at that. Steph Curry wants to one-up LeBron just by a little bit. Just by a little bit. That's $100,000 more. But we got it right. Boogie or Victor Oladipo? It is Victor Oladipo. Y'all remember when Victor Oladipo got traded to Indiana? They were like, man, that's a good deal for OKC. Not only do they get Paul George, because Paul George is amazing, but they get rid of the contract that is Victor Oladipo. Victor Lebo's making more money than Paul George this year, which is cool now because both of them are like all-stars. But at that time, Victor Lebo was an all-star. He was like just an, a little above average player. So they were like, why did they pay this man so much money? Well, they I guess they saw this in him, that he could be an all-star. And Boogie, he's up for an extension this year, so he's about to get the bread, hopefully. Maybe some teams don't want him because of Achilles injury because that, that could hurt his career, if we're being honest. I try to be honest on this channel. That could really hurt his career, his productivity. But we're right on that one. Kawhi Leonard or Giannis? Jumping right over Tim Hardaway Jr. Yeah, slow that, slow-mo that one. 
Ah, I think it's Giannis though. I'm pretty sure it's Giannis because he, again, if it was a recent extension, that's the one that's going to get the more money. And I don't even remember when Kawhi resigned. But yeah, 18.5. That's not enough for Kawhi, if we're being honest. The guy's a baller. Westbrook or Paul Millsap? Wow. Because Paul Millsap just resigned or signed in Denver this offseason. But Westbrook did. I'm going to go Westbrook because I think year last year or the year before that, he signed his extension. Paul Millsap, $31.5 million a year. I'm um, 100% this is Dwight Howard. Dwight's get paid like 23 mil. 23 mil with Jimmy's more around like 19 mil, I'm thinking. Get well soon, Jimmy. He said, Jimmy said he coming back soon. So if Jimmy said it, if he can speak it into existence, then I believe in him. But yeah, I was right on that one. Almost close, like pinpointed it. Mike Conley. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mike Conley signed an amazing extension. People consider him one of the most underrated players in the league. I guess that's true, but he definitely one of the uh, most paid players too. So you tell me, can you be underrated and overpaid? I don't know, dog. I don't know. But yes, right there, Mike Conley. John Wall or Joe Ingles? Why do I feel like this should be an easy one? I'm going to go John, John Wall, right? How is this even? Unless it's a trick question and Joe Ingles got banked. Okay. All right. It's close, though. Joe Ingles did resign. Okay, I remember that. I remember that. This is 100% Drew Holiday. I talked about in my video from a couple days ago. They re-signed him to like 27.5 million or something like that because they needed him on the team. If they didn't re-sign him for that much money, he could have went to any other team in the league and they needed a point guard. It, okay, it was 25.7. I think I got the numbers switched up a little bit. But yeah, Gordon Hayward, Isaiah Thomas. Gordon Hayward got the bank. Isaiah Thomas did not. This was supposed to be the offseason where Isaiah Thomas got his bank. I don't think he gonna get it. He said he wanted a max contract. Teams out here not offering Isaiah Thomas a max contract. I'm sorry. He not playing like a max player no more. Almost 30 mil for Gordon Hayward. Get real soon. LaMarcus Aldridge, Chandler Parsons. Definitely Chandler Parsons. We talked about it in the video from like two weeks ago. One of the worst contracts in NBA history. Like in, in the history of this amazing league that we talk about. Because he can't stay healthy. Look, we not even look. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Pause. Let's rewind that. You want to know? We're not even watching highlights of him. We got dunks from LaMarcus. We got the man getting back on defense. Is there no highlights in the archive for Chandler Parsons in, in Memphis? Crazy. Is that it? I think we may have got two wrong. If I'm if I were keeping count right, I think we got two wrong. That was the Paul Millsap one. And then wait, let me look at this list again. It was Paul Millsap. I think that was it. The Paul Millsap one. So maybe we just got one wrong, which is dope. Uh, 14 out of 15 is not too bad. Shout out to Factory again. Link will be in the description for him. Go over and let him know team the Overtime Central. Thank y'all so much for watching this video. Y'all know we got a promo a couple things before we head out of here. One, dropped a couple videos in the last couple days. We back on the daily street. Uh, NBA Jeopardy. And then the day before that, we like argue with Skip Bayless. And then uh, the podcast, Through the Wire. My podcast, Through the Wire, just dropped the newest episode today. Or, oh, well, I guess it was yesterday. Today as I'm recording this. And then we got another episode dropping on Friday. Keep up with the podcast if you have not. Just let y'all know how successful we've been. We got half a million downloads in the last two months, y'all. We out here making that move, baby. So if you late to the party, that's cool. We always accepting new listeners. Thank y'all so much. Peace.